uh, to, uh, to fully understand all requirements need by the stockholders, especially the deaf mute students, we have conducted several like illustration techniques to gain all sources and information needed to fulfill uh, all the requirements they need and to make, to make them satisfied. All right, so we like we 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 conducted five methods or five techniques for illustration. Uh, illustration. The first one is observation. All right. So observation, as you know, it's like uh, like observing existing systems activities to understand user behaviors and identify unlike requirements for like LMS DM, which is our system. The other thing is a question uh, questionnaires which is like using questionnaires like by survey and to like to for efficient data collection, revealing commentaries and all these things. And that thing is the interview. And also as you have, I, I'm gonna explain everyone by itself and what are they gonna do and what we did for them and all the proofs and everything as you can, will see in the slides later. So the fourth one is the perspective based reading, which is like a blank perspective reading to then cover in black like requirements. And uh, the last one is brainstorming, which is like generating uh, like innovative and creative ideas and how to apply them for our system and all these things. All right, so the first one is the observation method where like we use like utilizing existing system activities. I found to describe it firstly is that you're utilizing a direct observation of current system activities and then understanding the user behaviors and black requirements for LMS DM, which is our system learning management system. Okay, so the proofs that we have here, like for our that we use this one is that the recorded existing system activities, as you will see later, and as well as analyzed user interactions and patterns, trans, uh, the, as well as translated observation into concrete requirements. All right, so the benefits that we have from this method is that real world insights into user interactions, as well as identification of implicit needs, not like explicitly like stated. All right. So as you can see here, we have uh, Sakai, which is one of the systems that, like uh, existing system that we observed. Okay. So what I want to tell you about it, like what we notice is that observe user interaction requirements. As you can see, like uh, this Sakai, like seamless course material access. Sakai enables users to seamlessly view course materials as well as efficient coursework management, where the lecturer can efficiently access and manage coursework uh, sections in Sakai. I'm talking now about the Sakai existing system. All right, uh, as well as the intuitive um, interface for coursework uh, details where Sakai features and like uh, intuitive interface allowing easy like editing, uh, addition and deletion of the coursework details. As you can see here, I will uh, attach some screenshots from the Sakai mm -hmm. just for your references to see that as a proof. And this is for the resources and resources. And also the other thing for observing the existing system Sakai, the other thing is that we notice is that observing communication requirements, where, where as you can see, like there's a, we notice that this effective announcement display, Sakai effectively displays announcements for all students and lecturers, as well as calendar interface for announcement dates. Uh, dates. Sakai provides a calendar interface for adjusting the dates for posting an announcements. All right, and here's screen a screenshot of that announcements and here's a screenshot of that uh, calendar from the Sakai system. All right, the second method that we use is questionnaire. Why we use questionnaire? Uh, okay, question we use question is utilizing structured uh, like uh, question, uh, questionnaires to collect like stakeholders' opinions and references for the deaf mute student learning management system. All right, so our focusing was in this in this method was for focusing on identifying the missing functions not available in existing systems which is like crucial for like an improved learning experience. So the proofs we have here is like we design and create a career designing and creation of uh, targeted questionnaires uh, as well as copies of distributed questionnaires and collect, uh, collected responses. Distribution of questionnaires among like all stakeholders as well as analyzing of uh, analysis of response to identify uh, like uh, trends and so on so the benefits is uh, so many benefits like streamlined like data collection from device uh, like divorce uh, stakeholders uh questions inside reference as well as identification of missing functions which is the most important thing and um, the identification of missing functions uh, addressing users needs and expectations and also other things for like message uh, decision making and all these things okay Here's the questions. I don't want to read them because I don't have time. As you know, I have just a minute. So maybe we'll refer to them to see what questions you have asked the stockholders. 
and uh, the one that I want to share it with you is here. As you can see, this the survey the survey that we get from from the uh, uh, the questions, the survey results that we get from the questions in the questionnaires. Okay, so um, the result is not only like highlighted common features that that's what we were surprised, but also like for our project, but also like invite like you know. Uh, a desire for innovative functionalities. There was like there was like innovative uh, functionalities that uh, that it comes to us from them, not, like not commonly found in the existing systems. That's it's not exist in the in the systems in the uh, existing system. It's not found, and uh, and this uh, the features is like or functionality is like an auto capture capturing features, which is allowing students to access course materials with real time captions, fostering uh, like um, inclusive learning. Uh, the other thing that uh, we uh, that we, we, the, the other feature is that circular like uh, expressed a keen interest in a voice to text system, which is enabling interactive uh, discussion by converting like spoken words to written words, which is very important for the deaf mute students. Sorry, this innovative tool was seen like as a, a means to facilitate seamless communication and engagement for deaf mute students. Okay. So um, as you can see here, there is some uh, charts that I, uh, I uh, attached to for you, for your friends, that 95% are all agree for having these two functions that I just mentioned. And uh, as you can see the survey as well. So um, let's move on to the third interview. I wish if I have much time, I can express, but there is no much time, all right? So the third one is the interview method. And this one is basically like what we make it is for like to talk to the, uh, audience, audience or uh, the st stakeholders face to face to know like them uh, more, especially in the in the section of the data security, privacy, and all these things. And as you can see here, we can see the interviews that made by our classmate Ibrahim, and uh, the questions he asked here. And uh, uh, this is what we get in the interview summary outcome as outcome. Like for this interview, like uh, we he asked like few things, but the one we summarize is the data security measures. That like he was like asking him about the interview, like emphasize that the importance of robust privacy and data security measures, including like encryption protocols, and on uh, like uh, minimization of sensitive data, and overall and all these things that like uh, comprehensive roadmap for refining the LMS DM for our system. Okay, which uh, and uh, which is like uh, making it more inclusive, secure, and effective for all users. All right, the fourth one is the perspective-based reading uh, method, which is like applying a perspective-based reading to system, uh, to, uh, which is like applying a perspective-based reading to system documents, reports, or related materials. All right, and this one is good for uh, like uh, identifying complex requirements, shaping the system context for our system. And uh, the benefits is that enhancing, uh, like enhancing understanding of the border system landscape, uh, you know, violating like requirements not explicitly stated in the formal documents. As you can see here, see this some of the like perspective based papers we analyzed. And uh, this is another one also. And uh, you can see here the result that we get, which is like um, the most important thing is that it's subtitles for video features and voice to text translation as well. Uh, the, other, the other method we use is the brainstorming method. This brainstorming method is like is important because it helps us like uh, collaborate brainstorming like among our team members to generate, innovate, and ideas and requirements for the deaf mute students learning management system. All right. So the benefits is this is good to like it help us like to collect like for the creativity for the future ideation as well as like for the collaboration like problem solving and ideation and all these things how to solve how to develop it and all these things okay and uh, here is a summary of the requirements gathered from like all the activities as you can see I can read them because it will take more time and I I will give you the presentation so you can refer to it it's like around twenty four. Um, uh, uh like 24 requirements or 24 functions or features and as you can see this is the quote from our uh, uh activities like i said illustration activities and the thing i want to mention is the blind cano model as you can see here like this is the cano model uh basic needs like uh, i will uh, like uh, i will apply the cano model oh, i'm nervous because the time is running out okay applying the cano model why applying the cano model so we know which 
ones like is the that must be there like the features that are essential for the system and their absence would lead to this uh, uh, this uh, uh, satisfaction for the users or all, all these things these features align that align with that users consider fundamental and necessary so these features that are like considered as like must is, is I uh, listed them all here, as you can see here, manage users, manage courses, manage course schedules, configure system, login, manage availability, as well as these here, like view course materials with auto caption functionality, and uh, also um, participate in interactive discussion with voice to text uh, technology. So all these you can see here, these are the must one. And uh, the one that's like, it's like needed or it's like, uh, performance needed but it's not that necessary it will not affect like, it will not just like uh, this uh, satisfying them is these things as you can see the visual uh, re reality uh, integration and uh, the visual authorities like which is the same user interface should be usually applying as you can see here that's all for me doctor and thank you so much